house when his grandparents lived behind David's parents when they were not this big. Um, I have known Scott since very shortly after I met David about 10 years ago. And um, apparently one of the reasons my husband and I are together is because Scott gave his blessing. Um, and so, thanks for that. And so, um, while we're getting to blessings, I figured I would tell you guys, since I was one of the few people that were there the night Scott and Kendall met, that, you know, I thought you guys might hear the story. Um, so David and I went over to Scott's house for some, you know, some drinks upstairs on the rooftop deck in Philadelphia, and, um, you know, one of Scott's, a, a friend of a friend from college, and I don't know, some other people were coming, and, you know, we're always down to meet some new people, so we went to go hang out, and um, this was right after Scott got his very fancy bathroom <laughs> beautiful bathroom, it started out as, oh, I'm just going to change the tile, and it turned into this big big, massive remodel. Beautiful bathroom. So I decided that, you know, seeing there's some new people here, I should probably lay into him and make some horrible off-color jokes about the seat he had installed and the television that he had installed facing. <laughs> so this is, this is the first time I'm meeting Kendall, and I'm embarrassing Scott as horribly as you know, to the best of my ability. Um, and we spend the rest of the night, everybody hanging out, had a great time. And the next day, Scott gives us a call. You could tell, you know, throughout the evening that Scott's having a nice time getting to know Kendall. The next day, he gives us a call and he's like, so, Kendall wants to go for a hike tomorrow. Will you guys come with? <laughs> oh, of course. All right. You know, Scott's really into this girl. And Mr. Guitar hit it on the head when he said, Scott, we were all kind of afraid that nobody would ever be good enough for Scott. <laughs> so um, finally, you know, we see somebody that I really like, Kendall. And um, Scott seemed to really like Kendall, and we're like, hey, why not? We'll go along with it. Who knows where this could lead. Um, we spent the whole afternoon walking, and Kendall got everybody all jazzed up to jump off of a big rock and then wouldn't do it. Um, took it down, spent 15 minutes up there. <laughs> But I think ever since then, the second day that they met, I've seen Scott then was like I've never seen Scott before. You know, we saw girls come and go. Girls we liked, girls we didn't like. But Scott from day one and two was smitten. It was just different. And every time Kendall came to visit, we would chat and everything. And, you know, I was thrilled that he found somebody that I liked as well. <laughs> Scott liked <laughs> Me too. Um, but Scott, I, I, every time Kendall came down, you know, say Kendall, seriously, Scott is over the moon, and she's like, oh no, he's not. And like, oh no, what are you talking about? But Scott, we have we have never seen Scott like this before, and I think that this is um, this is Scott in love, and um, we've never seen him happier, and we can't imagine anybody better for him than Kendall, and. Um, I feel like Scott's, I know I'm newer to the group than David, but I, I kind of think of Scott as family. I'm very happy to have you be part of the family, too. Thank you. So you sure. The girl went to town when she came here back in 94. Where's Jen Jen? She's probably probably going, what's my mama doing now? <laughs> but you're used to that. And I'm just so happy for you. And Scott knows how lucky he is because I told him earlier tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just very, very proud of you. So, <laughs> press this. You met my wife, Kristen, before. She's the one with a weird association with Scotty. So, I met Scotty for my first time where I just started dating my now wife, Kristen, and I was like, I'm going to throw her a big surprise party. I'm going to send out an email to all of her friends, and there's one guy. It's coming up from Philly for the 
surprise party. All right, I guess. I mean, I guess they're friends from college. And he gets up, and I'm like, he's like, hey, I'm I'm Scott Detar. I'm like, nice to meet you. I'm Kevin Merriam, Dean and Kristen. Did that for you. So, so anyway, party happens, and he's there, and he's like hanging out. And I'm like, wow. I'm like, she was excited to see him, and I finally I find out the story, and you know, they went to college together, they were abroad together, and I'm like. Right, they're a good friend. And I was like, okay. I was like, stop laughing at me, swan. You're laughing. I'm intrigued. All right. Anyway, that's, that was my first introduction to, to Scotty. And I found out, I was like, listen, they are great friends. Since then, I realized that Scotty and I are great friends. Chris and I got married a few years back. He came to my bachelor party. And I was like, you know, I want this guy there. We are good friends. I went to his bachelor party. We've hung out a bunch of times. We play golf together all the time. And I realized he's like one of my good friends. And I was like, he's one of my wife's good friends. And finally, she came to me and she's like, Scotty's dating somebody. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, I want to meet said girl. So, <laughs> so finally, I meet Kindle, and I'm like, "All right." I'm like, "Listen, Scotty, he, Scotty, is Scotty." I'm like, "Anybody who knows Scotty knows that Scotty is Scotty." And I'm like, "I, I don't know how else to explain it to anybody that knows that Scotty is Scotty." So finally, I'm like. I want to meet this Kindle person. So finally we meet at, and I'm like, yes, I get it. I'm like, I understand. I'm like, this makes sense. You know, it's like, I don't know how else to say it, but I was like, yes. It makes sense. I was like, she understands this Scott person who can be difficult at some times. No, no offense, Scott. No, no <laughs> But, and listen, I don't know you normally, nearly as well as I know Scott. I assume he knows you, but you know Scott, and you are still here. So. <laughs> so at that point, I was like, this girl's a keeper. And I was, so I was like, Scott, please hang on to this one, because this one makes it work. And I was like, and that's when I was like, I saw them together and I said, Scotty, I like this. <laughs> this is good. Said girl. Yeah. yeah, said girl works. <laughs> and then severed from all that, I actually hang out. I actually hung out with Kendall. I was like, I like her too. I was like, so this is going to work for both of us. So that's when I was like, that's when I blessed this. And I was so happy. And that's when finally I heard the word. I was like, she was like, I think Scotty's getting me engaged. I was like, thank God. <laughs> so it's finally happened. And I'm so happy for both of you. And listen, Scotty, we've become great friends through What's Her Face. And uh, <laughs> pay for that later. <laughs> but we're good friends now. And Kindle. You're now in the circle. I like to think that now we're great friends. And best of luck, and I wish you guys all the best. Scott did declare him on his income tax, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, since he's been about five. Uh, and since Ken, you do like cowboys, well, you do have a cow. You you have a cowboy right there. I think his name is Woody from Toy Story. Uh, down in Austin, Texas, someplace there is a guy like him. <laughs> But anyway, uh, I guess our relationship started uh, way back when about uh, I was coaching soccer up in the Warrior Town area. And uh, the first couple of years, I, Scotty wasn't on my team and we didn't know the guitarist, but then 
somehow he got on my team, and, I, and supposedly I heard good reports about him being a pretty good soccer player. Well, let me tell you, I went over to the house one time, okay, before, and so I go over there, and Scotty's there, and Andy's there, and Jenny and, and Sarah are there, and they kind of TO'd uh, Scotty, I don't know, they threw the ball at him or something, and he got really, you know how Scotty gets in his Okay. All right, Scotty gets that, and I said, "Well, he's gonna, he's gonna just kill these girls, you know." Well, he couldn't catch them. I said, "Wait a minute." He's like six years older than these girls, and he can't outrun them. I, said, I knew I was in trouble. 